Right, uh, let's continue. We are now going to look on how to interpret the cubic function. We've got the graph of f here with these points. We've got those points. This is the turning point. At the same time, it's the y-intercept. Also, it's the x-intercept. We've also that point, which is the x-intercept, and then again here at point B, we've got a stationary point. Let us just name this point as uh, point C. Right, let's go to questions. The first question. If you mind the values of f, don't you take the value of n? The first question is, why f has f in the process of the We determine the values of x in each of the following, right? Uh, let's see. Right, and we are to determine the values of x in each of the following. f at x is equal to 0. f at x less than 0. The gradient less or equal to 0. x times the gradient greater than 0. Let's start with the first one, where f at x is equal to 0. We let y to be 0 in order to find the x-intercepts. We let y, this is y, f at x is y. So for y, the time where we let y to be 0, it's where we are to find the x-intercepts. So this is at the origin, which means the coordinates here are 0 is to 0. For x-intercept, let f at x to be 0. So we are to find the values of x where f at x is equal to 0. So it's this point and that point. This is the x-intercept, also that's the x-intercept. Therefore, for the first question, f at x equals 0 where x is equal to 0. Where x is equal to 0 or where x is equal to 3, y is 0. x is equal to 3, y is 0. x is equal to 0, y is 0. We are looking for the values of x where y is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 3. And then let's look at this one here. We are looking for the values of x where y is negative. The values of x where y is negative. f at x less than 0, where y is negative. So, obvious, obvious, when you look at this graph here, y is positive above the y axis. Below the y axis, y is negative. Above the x axis, y is positive. So, which means, since we are looking for the values of x, below this, it's where we've got this value here. x is equal to 0 here. And y is equal to 0. We need y to be negative, not to be equal to 0. So, if you go back from the origin, if you go back so you see here, y is negative, here, y is negative, if you go back from the origin, y is negative. So from the origin backward, x is 
negative. So if x is negative, that means it is less than 0. It's why x less than 0. Let's check again. So y is 0 here. So that point is not included. We are looking for where y is negative. So when you continue going to the right, y is negative up to this point. y is negative from that point up to that point. Therefore, it's where x, it's either you go back or you go that way. It's where x less than 3 but greater than 0. It's why x less than 3, greater than 0. That's why we are going to find y negative. Right, let's move on. The next question, we are to find the values of x where the gradient is less or equal to 0. The gradient is less or equal to 0. This is the gradient. Remember that the gradient is equal to zero at the turning point. The gradient is equal to zero at the turning point. So we are looking for the values of x where the gradient is negative or equal to zero. without even the Cartesian plane because we are talking about the gradient. Let's say we've got this graph. Right. Remember we set the gradient here. This is the stationary point. So the gradient here is equal to zero. Also here the gradient is equal to zero. Right. Now I want us to write this as a gradient. This as a gradient. Up to zero there. Gradient. Our gradient. This is our gradient. This is our gradient. When you go up, our gradient will be looking like this. When you go up, this is our gradient. When you go up. And then when you go down, that's our gradient. That's our gradient. And then up to there. At the turning point, the gradient is zero. You go up again. You go up. Right. When you go up, the gradient is positive. When you go down, the gradient is negative. So now we are looking for the values of x where the gradient is negative. The gradient is negative only here. The gradient is negative only here. Let's check. Gradient is negative only on this part. Remember that we've also included where the gradient is zero. So less or equal to zero. Zero is included. Zero is included. What are the values of x? Which means it's where x you move from zero to that direction, but you do not pass here. 
do not pass there do not pass here you do not pass here this part only it's why our gradient is negative so you name those values up to that point it's either you go forward or you go back so x here when you move from zero to that direction x is greater than zero but it has to be less than that value of x we only use the values of x since we are looking for the values of x so only one part which means we are going to use x one x only and put the signs less or equal to greater or equal to a smaller number a bigger number it's where x less than two it's either you go back but you cannot pass here or you move to that direction so it's why x less than the value of x here is two or x greater or equal to zero that's how to find the values of x where the gradient is negative the next question we are to multiply x times the gradient to get a positive answer or the answer that will give us zero it's x times the gradient to give us greater or equal to zero remember that if x is equal to zero zero times m we are going to get zero which means zero is included let's check right at this point the gradient is zero at this point x is zero but when you move back to that direction x here is negative x is negative here but the gradient is positive the gradient is positive so negative times positive will give us negative we are looking for the positive answer but zero for x and zero for the gradient will give us zero which means the only value of x that we can use here is zero so uh, it's x times the gradient greater or equal to zero so the, the value that we have right now is halfway x is equal to zero and then let's continue here x is positive then x is positive it's positive it's positive here our x is positive but the gradient it's negative up to this line here the gradient is negative up to that line so for them to give us a positive answer we start from this point to the right so we start from here where x when you move to that direction the graph is going up which means the gradient is positive so it's positive times positive because x is positive here also the gradient is positive positive times positive will give us the positive answer again the gradient is zero at the turning point positive x times zero for the gradient will give us zero so it's where x greater or equal to two it's where x greater or equal to two so that's how to answer all those questions the most important thing here is for you to understand the shape of the graph. If the graph 
is an increasing function, there will be only that part where the gradient will be negative. Here in that side, the gradient is positive. Let's continue. Right, that's the, inf uh, the information that is being given. You've got this information so that you are to sketch the graph. You are to sketch the graph. Right. F at zero. F at zero. So x is equal to 0 on the y axis. x is equal to 0 here. 